Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. Welcome to this thing. Looks a lot like this thing. It is nothing like this thing, of course. This is an add-on for an Echo Dot to try to make the Echo Dot sound a little bit more like this thing, and for a lot cheaper, which is great. Uh, so GGMM, the manufacturer of this speaker, sent it to me to review. And of course, I'm now going to really annoy them by going off on a massive tangent about how the smart home speaker ruined music. Enjoy. Somewhere in the first 10 or 20 years of the 1900s, someone said, I know, I'll invent the gramophone. And the gramophone was invented, and it was a cone that pumped music at you, and basically it made everyone feel like they'd got a musician in their house, which was amazing. But if there was a concert of musicians being played through that speaker, it sounded like they were all sat on each other's laps, because it was all coming from one location, and that sucked. So some time at 50 or 60 or 70, I don't know, I'm not a historian, years later, someone said, Said, I know, let's create stereo sound instead. We'll have two speakers, and what we'll do is we'll put some of the musician in the left, but most of them in the right, and they'll sound like they're here somewhere. Uh, or all of the musician in the right, and they'll sound like they're all the way over there. And we can do that for each musician and make it sound like a concert is in front of you. And it was incredible. One of the best inventions ever made, particularly if you happen to like music. Later on, someone said, I want surround sound because I'm just greedy and I want it everywhere. Uh, and so the surround sound speaker system was born. It didn't really take off for music because people wanted to feel like they were at concerts and concerts are not played in the round. Uh, later on, someone said, wait a minute, let's invent one of these things. I want it to sound like a gramophone. <laughs> what? Why is it one speaker? Why is it one speaker? And I'll tell you why. It's to save money if you are this person. If you are Google, or you are, uh, and Amazon are just as guilty, if you are one of those companies, all you want to do is make as much money as possible for as little outlay as possible, and that's why there is only one speaker, and that sucks, and I'm not happy about it. Problem number two when listening to music on a smart home device, and I have to put my professor's hat on and bore you with another history lesson, but basically, originally we recorded music onto an LP disc, and we did so in a very physical way, which reproduced sound spectacularly. It was beautiful. People to this day still argue that LP discs are better than CDs. Later on, we created the CD because we thought, I know, let's capture music in zeros and ones and make it data. Now that sounds quite amazingly accurate because of the amount of zeros and ones that are in there. So CDs, and I have to look this up because my brain is not that good, uh, are recorded at 1411 kilobits per second. That's a lot of data in a disc. Later on we invented the MP3 because we didn't want CDs anymore because we're idiots. And we said, uh, our computers haven't got that much space on them, so let's uh, record this at 320 kilobits per second, and music took a massive quality nosedive. It gets a lot worse, unfortunately. Spotify currently streams music to you at 160 kilobits per second. If you're not listening to these things side by side, you might not notice the difference, so it's arguable as to whether it matters or not. But when you consider we've gone from that with a CD to that with Spotify, you're now listening to a pool. So a long ways down the line, Amazon decide, you know what, we need to start catering to people who care about their sound, who want to listen to music the way it is intended, in stereo. You could already do this with the Echo Dot, just by plugging it in to your stereo speakers, but this device, the Echo Input, is obviously intended solely for that purpose, which shows Amazon is starting to think about people like me who want to listen to music the way it was intended. And then they give it their marketing team and they did this with it. Why? Why, marketing team at Amazon, are you trying to get people to bundle it with another manural speaker? Just buy the Echo if that's what you want. If you're thinking about buying the Echo input, the whole point of it is to plug it into stereo speakers. Don't do that with it. Why am I comparing one of these to one of these when I could be comparing it to one of these? The answer is simple, I don't own one of these, get over it. Uh, why am I doing it at all when I've just told you you should get some stereo speakers? That's because you probably have one of these in your dining room, or at least one of these, and you might want to upgrade it to something that sounds a little bit better. I'm going to be judging how this sounds better, or if this sounds better, using graphical data. That graphical data is not actually an output from this into my computer, it's kind 
kind of like an artist's impression of what I am hearing. That's the only way I can get it across to you when you can't actually hear it for yourself. I hope that helps. <laughs> D6, or D6 as it is probably called. The box is dirty, I don't know why the box is dirty, I am a filthy human being it would seem. Thank you! I swear that's a Christmas card I used to get somehow every year from an auntie. Go away, I don't care about that. What are those? Yummy yummy poison, go away. Ooh. It's got an auxiliary input on it and a DC input. That looks like it plugs into your echo dot and powers it. It is on a recoilable wire, which is very recoilable it would seem. Cool, let's not damage it any further. <laughs> let's put an echo dot in it. That's that is quite tight and neat. Look at that. That works. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't know why that took a while, but she is on. She's powering up. That looks pretty cool. I like the way that works. You actually wouldn't know that that wasn't one single unit, and this is quite pretty. Get off. There's a little blue LED in the bottom here. There you go. You can just about see that on camera. That's quite pretty. Music and sound are very subjective things, which makes life a little bit difficult when I'm trying to record a video to tell you how good the quality of the speaker is, because you only have my word for it, you can't hear it. Uh, and the problem with that is, I have a very specific taste that might be different to yours. Uh, I personally prefer a flat response sound. That means that the sound is basically the way the artist intended it, but you, personally, might find that speakers and headphones, to your preference, have more bass in them. And that means that the speakers themselves add bass to the sound. So what I'm going to do is, I'm sat where I recorded a lot of music over the years, so I know what music is supposed to sound like coming out of these speakers behind you. Uh, and then I'm going to switch to this thing, very harshly, because these things are worth hundreds of pounds and this thing is worth 40 pounds, to see what is missing and what is added in. Um, so I can tell you if it's bass heavy, if it's got a lot of mid, and whether the treble sounds, the top end of the frequency spectrum, is shimmering and bright, or whether it's dull and flat. Then I'm going to compare it to Google Home, which is also quite harsh, because that's a lot more expensive too, to see what the results of that are. Let's give it a go. So I'm currently listening on my studio monitors, and it sounds wonderful, at least to my ears, because I like dirty, horrible ska punk bands starring me. Um, but you might not. Basically, I can hear all of the instruments, I can hear the kick drum, and the bass guitar, and the rhythm guitars, and the vocals, and the cymbals, and the hi-hats. Everything is wonderful and separated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch very harshly now to that speaker there, and see what it sounds like. Okay. Um, awful by comparison, but it's going to because it is hundreds of pounds less money. Uh, it's also the first thing I notice is that everything is now in the middle. It's no longer separated left and right. It calls itself a 360 degree speaker, as all of these types of speakers do. But there is no stereo really, it's all coming from one location and therefore it is mono. It can tell you it's bouncing it off the walls all it likes. It's not true, it's a big fat lie. Uh, the next thing I notice is the bass level is dramatically dropped. Um, it's very, very low by comparison, and you would expect it to be. It doesn't have a subwoofer, it is just this dandy little cone trying to do it all at once. Um, I do notice loads of clarity in the mids uh, and in the trebles, so I can hear the guitars and the vocals and the snare drum and the cymbals and the hi-hats with really, really, really good clarity for something that is so ridiculously cheap. Uh, it's good. It, it is good. Let's see if Google Home is much better. Okay, way, way more bass. Uh, so the kick drum and the low end of the bass guitar is super present. Um, Google have probably done this on purpose. That's because they're mass marketing this speaker to the majority of people, obviously. Uh, the majority of people like heavy bass. Uh, it's because it makes you feel like you've got a good quality speaker if you can hear all of that low end stuff because your ears are actually tuned to all the stuff further up. So if a speaker has really good clarity in the low end, the rest of it your brain can just make up and it's fine. It doesn't make the speaker better quality though, what I can actually hear is pretty muddy, ugly sounding mids. Uh, sorry Google Home fans, I know you're all already bashing me in the comments for this, uh, but it's much, much more difficult to hear the vocals and the snare drum and the rhythm guitars 
uh, those sorts of noises, which is where your ear is naturally attuned to, sound kind of ugly. Um, I'm surprised by this because I've never really compared it to anything. I've never compared it to my proper stereo before to know that that was the case until just now. But yes, I am shocked by that. Uh, the D6 is more clear in that range, but it's not, it's not got the same warmth as the Google speaker by a long way, and that will matter to a lot of people. If you're into hip-hop music, you're definitely going to prefer the Google Home. Uh, if you're into anything that's kind of bass-heavy, you're going to prefer the Google Home. If you're into classical music, uh, and if you're into, I don't know, ska punk and rock music, you might prefer the D6, because you're going to hear vocals and guitars with better clarity. Um, so it's an interesting one. I am surprised at the results. I'm not going to say one speaker is better than the other because I feel two ways about it. I kind of really like the warmth of the Google Home, but I would really miss the clarity of the D6 uh, if I took it away. I'd really like to plug the D6 into a subwoofer and get all that bass back and then have a pretty good speaker. Uh, at the end of the day, I would miss the stereo sound of having a full image with two separate speakers, and I'm always going to miss that. I don't know why um, speaker manufacturers have decided, let's start building things in cones. That's stupid. It's very, very stupid. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. If you want to help support my channel, there are links to both my PayPal and my Patreon to keep me doing what I'm doing, and I can't thank you enough if you're one of those people that's already done that. And if you want to hang out with me, you can go to these places and we can hang out. I'll see you next time. This is a huge You're huge. <laughs> I'm saying right too much and left too much and now it sounds weird and I'm doing a dance. What the f- <laughs> I can't say what the f- <laughs> I'm not going to say what the f- children are watching. High fidelity, good quality music. I'm going to start again. No one knows what high fidelity means, you jerk. <laughs>